So uh, good afternoon. This is Go for Con 2016, and I am Dead Program. In real life, my name is Ron, but that's not important. I am Dead Program all the other places. And uh, some of you know me a little bit from something that I work on called GoBot. So I'm here to talk to you about the state of Golang hardware development in 2016. There's been a lot of exciting things going on over the last year. So I'll start by giving you the GoBot report. A few milestones that we've hit this year. 44 contributors have added code or docs to GoBot. 20, 2,186 stars on GitHub as of this morning when I finished this slide. And support for new devices such as the awesome Chip $9 Linux computer, thanks to our awesome community. And we have experimental Bluetooth low energy support, which I'll talk about in about one minute. So I just want to say thank you so much for all of the contributors and of all the people that have supported the project, and we really thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> all right, so uh, meanwhile, over at Google, Raquel, a.k.a. Berge Doan, if I have not mangled that name too terribly, has been working on a set of experimental uh, interfaces for low-level hardware support that will hopefully make it into the Go language itself. Very, very exciting work. That's something that we've been kind of hoping for for about two years. We've got the XIO GPIO for general purpose IO interface, the XIO I2C for communicating with slightly higher level devices like displays and compasses, and XIO SPI for things like, you know, cool LED flashing signs. So go check out the project at GitHub Golang Exp. And uh, it's, we're really excited about it. It's uh, something we've been hoping for that Google would really get behind, and we expect some really great things to come out of that. All right, Golang on microcontrollers? Well, not exactly, but pretty close. Uh, there's two projects that have captured particular note lately. There's the MGO project. This has actually been going on for, uh, for a little while. I think there are over 500 commits. Uh, very, very interesting transpiler, which takes a Golang-like syntax and then compiles it down so it will run on microcontrollers like the Arduino. Very, very cool. There's another project that's slightly newer called Mugo. I haven't really checked that one out. It's quite a lot newer, but as far as I could read on the Twitterverse, both of those maintainers are going to be getting together and combining forces. So Bluetooth low energy support in Golang. Um, Bluetooth low energy has been kind of the great next thing, and we've seen many, many devices and support coming out on many different platforms, but uh, we saw two years ago when we first introduced GoBot at the first GopherCon, PayPal's GAT library, but since then, they've, you know, maintenance of that has kind of fallen off, but luckily, Roy Lee 17 of uh, the, the San Francisco Bay Area, their fork that Current Labs has, uh, Current Labs GAT, is a fork that will work really, really well. And they're working on an entirely new BLE stack. It currently is uh, Go 1.7 up and up only. It's not quite ready for prime time, but it's really, really looking cool. So I got, brought a couple of BLE devices. So Bluetooth low energy support in hardware is being added to all kinds of platforms. The new Raspberry Pi 3 has it built in. The chip $9 computer has it built in. The Intel Edison has it built in. The new Arduino 101 has it built in. Do you see a pattern? But we really are lacking the support in Golang to do something really, really great. And so that's one of the things we've been working on. I brought a couple of BLE toys. Uh, this is a Sphero Ali, or sorry, Sphero BB-8. Uh, it's the same API as the Sphero Ali, and I'm going to demonstrate right now for the first time in public anywhere, I put it on the uh, Twitterverse, but first time in public ever, a Go-controlled BB-8. Go-controlled BB-8. All right, so let's see what happens. What could go wrong? It's a live demo. Oh. <laughs> Does not compute. Oh, one more try. All right, so um, I have brought another toy with me um, that I am really, really interested in. It's the Parrot Mini Drone. So Parrot, the same, you know, nano drones and mini drones and micro drones are the new big drones, right? So I brought this drone with me, and uh, I'm going to fly it, and um, 
this particular drone, I, uh, it takes Lego figures. So I brought this Lego minifigure. Um, so this is a tribute to Kelsey's opening keynote. We are going to see a gopher rise, controlled by Golang. If all goes well. Oh, got to boot it up. One minute. Can he do it? Stay on target. <laughs> I love the dramatic sound of that. It's almost there. Will it work the first time? Well, we're going to find out right now. <laughs> Golang air superiority in the form of a very, very small drone. So go, come on, Mark, try and kick me off stage, man. Come on. <laughs> bring it. Bring it. So I'm going to just come in for a landing. All right, success. So thank you all very much.